What's going on you tubs, it's the Spectrum here and my aim is to make you guys better than the average Call of Duty player. Hope you like that new intro by the way, I like to kind of sum up my channel uh, in my intro. Anyway, this is a game of Kill Confirmed on the map Hard Hat. I kind of like this map, it reminds me of uh, Rust and High Rise converged together, you know you got the big building in the middle and it kind of looks like High Rise, you know with that kind of orangey glow. Fortunately the orangey glow isn't too, uh, it isn't isn't too harsh like it was on High Rise in my opinion, or Rundown. Rundown was a map I didn't like the look of, I liked the play, but didn't like the uh, feel of it. Anyway, uh, in this game I was running solo, which when you're running solo in Kill Confirmed you want to be, uh, you generally want to play p pretty aggressively. If you've got some teammates who know what they're doing and like running out and picking up uh, tags and are winning their gunfights, then yeah, you can sit back a bit, pick people off. Um, you know, not sit in corners and such, but like, you know, pick people off, put a load of tags out there for people to pick up, and, uh, but, you know, when, you, when you're on your own, generally you want to play aggressively, and I was trying to snipe in this game, but uh, we were getting stomped on with something like 12 points down, I oh, know, they're, they're on 12 or on 4 tags, and I was just like, no, I've got to start winning gunfights, and I'm playing on my own, so I swapped a specialist, and... I have to say, I love specialists. This was the second time I got the full specialist thing, the full specialist reward, and uh, I love it. I really do love it. It makes me feel like I'm going Super Saiyan, you know, not not just regular Super Saiyan. I go Super Saiyan three, and I actually have a gameplay which I'm not going to commentate over. Uh, I think I'm just going to put some music over it of me going said Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan three on. Uh, I think it was. Kill confirmed. It might have been TDM. Probably was TDM. And I just love it because, you know, oh look at this guy. He's he's not winning. And actually, my teammate spawns on the tag, which is awesome. But the thing with specialist is that it's it's just so fun. It's so satisfying as well. Like unlocking perks for some reason to me feels like when I see that assassin pop up or whatever perk I have in that second slot, it feels so much more like rewarding than getting like having to get more kills to get a kill streak going. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just the rate I get them. I don't know. But it it's so good and the thing is it just makes you a better like it it gives you more like a year ago I would have said that's a really bad idea because it's promoting the idea that more perks makes you better, but some like sometimes perks that clash are like like you know, I wish you know, quick draw didn't clash with uh assassin or I wish that blast shield and assassin didn't overlap and with specialists you can have that but you have to be a good player in order to get them like one of the big things I'm seeing with the special the specialist at the moment is that players are assuming that the minute they slap specialist on they're automatically going to have quick draw assassin and um you know blast shield but no that's not the case oh watch this I actually managed to uh take out the IMS, well, it can't shoot you through walls, that's the big thing, and I managed to take it out and it counts towards my specialist streak, which is awesome. Now, the kind of regular strategist, uh, specialist even, not strategist, um, that it's really cool as it is, just as a setup, because it gives you the ability to become more than what you can regularly be, and, you know, you're not losing anything by dying either. Like this, it's the same with support. Like you're not losing anything from dying. What you're losing a few perks. Well, clearly you've had kills to get those perks. You know, the, it does. It, to me, it doesn't feel like I'm losing that. If I'm one off my special uh, specialist reward, then yeah, I'm gonna be annoyed. But I can earn it again in another eight kills. Like it's not. It's not troublesome. And the thing is, oh, there we go. There we go, Super Saiyan mode, and you see it like I was walking forwards then, and I just suddenly had like a massive speed boost. It's because you get juiced as well when you. That's something people don't uh, remember. You get juiced with this as well, and it, I just love it because it's like it. It says screw you to like the fact that perks cross. You know, it's like well, perks clash. So what? We're now getting rid of that, and this guy is like the ultimate soldier, which means you can wreak havoc and. Look, we've already started winning. These guys had no idea what was coming for them. I just smacked down this massive, like, waste of gun skill and just efficiency on them, and they got destroyed. 
I mean, the, you saw the kind of lead they, were, they had at the beginning. This shows you how bad my team was, because it took me and my, you know, kill streakless setup, you know, to come back. And it, it kind of also proves that you don't need kill streaks to do well in this game. Like, everyone thinks, no, you have to be running the top kill streaks, otherwise you are, you are nothing, you are just a bad player. No, you can be an awesome player without using kill streaks. And I'd rather see a gameplay of someone going Super Saiyan Specialist rather than going 8, like, I don't know, what is it, 40 and 1 kind of KD with an AC-130. I don't care if they had an AC-130 twice in that game. I'd rather see someone just dominate with the Specialist. Like, I love watching Moab gameplay because it's skill. Using a kill streak isn't skill. It's efficient, but it's not skill. See now, I did die eventually, which means uh, huh, I'm without assassin, which is annoying. But what are you gonna do? That's why I like running assassin pro as my uh, first kill streak. Oh well, specialist reward because then, well, I get under. Oh yeah, I remember this in the game. I was saying, well, two people can like line up for me so I can get assassin, and they did. Uh, and then this guy, I get him. And yeah, but like in games with, you know, in games like Kill Confirm, when you can't, you know, if you come out of the gameplay, your team's gonna struggle without you. You specialist. It's the same kind of thing in domination. You can be on the ground. You can be doing stuff all the time rather than having to sit out and use kill streaks. They were fun, along you know last games, but in my opinion, specialist is the new, is the new dogs, the new AC-130, the new everything, it's just so much better and so much more fun, I get to run around, do what I like, every time I come into a gunfight, I just destroy them man, it's good, use specialist at the moment, there are all the tip setups are kind of like my idea really